Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. And today is an important one as we join you live now on Thunderbirds TV. As you take a look there on your screen at the Race for Home Ice in the upcoming Commissioner's Cup playoffs, you see there the red line in the middle of your screen indicates home ice throughout the duration of the playoffs and home ice throughout at least the first two rounds. Carolina and Binghamton are locked in a battle there for third and fourth. Carolina with the five point, or four point advantage, I should say, after getting the two points last night, the overtime win. Standing now with a three win advantage overall which is where one of those next tiebreakers is. Remember, the tiebreakers go points, overall wins, win percentage, head-to-head -head record between the two that are tied, and then it goes to goal differential. So Carolina has the advantage in goal differential by 16. They have the advantage in points, they have the advantage in win percentage, and the advantage in overall wins. And with a win today, they could sit just four points, a regulation win today, could sit just four points back of the Bingham or the Columbus River Dragons, who sit in first place when they when the Thunderbirds head to Motor City next weekend. The regulation win today would also bring them two points back of Danbury for second overall in the FBHL above that ever so important red line in the middle of your screen. We'll take one final time out here to Honda Cannon and the Salem pregame show and get you the starting lineup when we come back. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. 
Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Back here inside Visits Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you. Get a look at today's starting goaltender on Thunderbirds TV on your screen. That's Boris Babbitt coming in with a 3.20 goals against average. An 899 save percentage. 10-4-1 his record in his 15 starts so far in the 2022-23 campaign. As for Gus Ford, he continued his point streak last night, assisting on Dawson Baker's power play goal, extending it to 22. Gus has not gone pointless since the last time the Thunderbirds were in Motor City on December the 16th, and he continues to pace his personal, now franchise record, 87 single season points so far this campaign. Yuri Pastuka staying red hot, as you see there. Eight goals in his last eight games, including the overtime winner a night ago. Mario Cavallari, who will be joining us on the broadcast this afternoon. Of course, he's off the ice tonight. Bryce Defoe is the emergency backup goaltender. Boris Babbitt will be in net, but there you see Mario's stats over the last little bit of time. We'll take one final timeout here on the Honda can and Winston-Salem pregame show. And when we come back, it's time to get this thing rocking and rolling. Thunderbirds, Black Bears, series finale next. Finland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at Flow Volkswagen Winter. Brett Wiseman alongside you, Matthew Bazarin, operating our camera this afternoon. And Mario Cavallari will be here shortly. And so we'll be joining the broadcast as well as our goaltending color analyst. Carolina and Binghamton getting set to roll the series finale. The only game in the FPHL on this Sunday, February the 26th. 
John Butina set to take the face off. Along with Pastuka, Salak, Firth, and Bioni, and away we go. Firth outside the dot, stretch pass. Gonna be too far for Pastuka, but it's gonna go on goal. And that will allow a cover for today's starting goaltender, Jeremy Forge. Make sure to pick up your Chuckapucks on the main concourse. Chuckapuck, Jeremy Forge, I, I should say. Thanks to excite We're going Forge. Chance. That's how it's spelled phonetically on my sheet. Jeremy Forge, number one in goal. 2-0 in his two starts with Binghamton. Here's Pastuka. That shot blocked off the faceoff. 3.39 GAA and a 9.13 save percentage for Forze. Putsita has it whacked away by Newbert. Back of the goal that comes Justin Bioni on the backhand. Banks it off the wall near side. Putsita had a chance to get that one. Mac Lewis knocked down by Salak. Salak trying to fish it out of Lewis's equipment. Those two get tied up near side. Bodies crashing into the plexiglass. And now it comes free to Firth, who has it poked free. And then baseball batted out of midair by Butita. Salak protecting the puck. One on two battle. One back by Brett Parker. And now Bioni will touch this ahead. Bioni shoulders off Parker. Pastuka gets the line and flips it in deep. Banks high off the glass. Carolina will get a change. Keplinger battling for a position near side on the boards. Picked off by Kirkby. And it moved out to center. Ford had a whack at that one. Peavy able to work it loose. Ford trying to work this out. One on three, he goes. Now Peavy and Kepley are under the frame as well. Baker muscles it out. Not a whole lot of space in the first little bit of action here this afternoon. Minute and 20 seconds in. Mac Lewis moves it ahead. Kirkby stretch pass. Looking for Austin Thompson. That hit a body. Down below, Kirkby touches it for Yates. Yates, key for Carolina. Don't let Yates get the edge work going. He is quick. Baker touches it ahead off from four to Keplinger. The red hot Josh Keplinger, toe drags into the zone. Backhander on goal, blocker to side, high over the back of the goal by Forze. And control taken by Binghamton. Good idea there from Keplinger just to get that one on goal. Here's Yates moving in, drops it off. Cross crease pass, hit escape, and it comes loose to Gus Ford. Ford trying to start the engine. One on two, looking for reinforcement. Centering pass, Ford scores! Oh, baby, what a play! Gus Ford took the hit, made the play right on the tape, and just like that, it's one nothing. good guys. Oh, goodness. Perfect pass from Gus Ford. Right on the tape. And Carolina has a 1-0 lead right off the hop here. Bryce French, who's playing on forward today, drops that back for Vinny Susi, who flips it up and out of play. And that's going to be, I believe, a delay of game penalty coming up here on Vinny Susi. Seventeen forty-four to go now in our first period. And the first power play for either side is coming. Off the faceoff here on the power plate comes free and all the way down. Schultz, who had the game tying goal last night. Drops it back. Schnapp it on the penalty kill with Firth, PV, and Bioni. Firth controlling his own end. He'll shoot it all the way down the ice once again. Moved ahead now by Schultz. Down the near side wing. Drops it back off. Picked off by Blake Peavy. Here's Peavy with speed. Short-handed. Blake Peavy going to load. Backhanded it over the crossbar. Oh, he had Forze down and out. Just couldn't get it to settle down enough. Minute 10 left on this power play. Bioni whacks this out. The goal for Danny Martin, by the way, his third of the season. Gus Ford picks up his 88th point with the assist. And if you hear Noah Freeman, yes, he's here. Boilar trying to center that one for Austin Thompson. Taken back now by Thompson. Shoots one short side. 
That deflects off a body and up into the netting and out of play. 16-28 to go here in the first period. Forty-five seconds remain on the Binghamton power play, is what it says on the goal or the scoreboard here. And a false draw off the face-off, so we'll do it again. Fitzgerald off the face-off win for Binghamton. Austin Thompson down low, back of the goal. Lopez now backhanded out by Pastuca. Forze will settle this down, back of his own goal. Austin Thompson, or Fitzgerald, I should say, moving this ahead. Here comes Fitzgerald through the neutral zone. Watched by Pringle, now drops back for Lopez, dangles through a couple of defenders. Lopez skates back of the goal, wraps it back around, poked by Firth. Back out top it comes. Boilar for Fitzgerald. Drops it down low, Thompson. Thompson watched by Firth. Penalty about to expire. Lopez a shot off the side of the net. Babic may have kicked the pad out, got a piece of it as well. It's shot, short side rebound. Oh, somehow that stayed out. Penalties expired. Cross ice feed for Susie too far. Baker's blind backhand pass picked off. Lopez trying to maneuver ahead. Bioni trying to get positioned on him. Good hit by Bioni to knock Lopez off the puck. Whacked out towards the blue line and out of the zone to safety. 15 20 remaining here in our opening frame. 1-0 Carolina. Shots 2-1 in their favor. Trying to set up for a breakout. Here's Kyle Powell. Powell moves it along. Newberg through neutral ice. Backhand bank dump in off the glass. Picked up by Peavy. Two men collide there. Powell out top. Shoots through traffic. That hit a body and went wide. Peavy hops back on that. Peavy. Stick down at center by Yarwood. Now moved back ahead. Everett Thompson, the former Thunderbird, drops it back off for Newberg. Sends it on goal. Babbitt kicked out the pad to stop the tip. Played by a Thunderbird high stick. And the whistle will go as no Thunderbird wanted to play that puck. 14.36 remaining. Here in our opening frame. Good start for the Thunderbirds. They lead it one to nothing. Five minutes and 34 seconds into our opening period. We're back in 30 seconds. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street, or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Did you get a look there at Josh Keplinger? Awaiting the draw between Baker and Mac Lewis. Or Kirkby, I should say. Kirkby. Wins it back for Powell. Powell through traffic. Babbitt got a piece of that with the chest and kept it out. Peavy whacks it up the glass. Ford trying to paddle this one out. Kept in by Yates. Near side, Peavy comes to it. Moves it into the middle of the ice. Keplinger feeds it ahead for Martin nicely. Over for Baker, who couldn't quite kick that back to his stick. Ford picks off a pass in neutral ice. Fights through a couple of checks. Poked into the Carolina offensive zone. Mac Lewis gets it out. Peavy recovers defensively. Watched by Kirkby. In between the hash marks, Peavy will now pivot and pirouette behind his own net. Ford. Pass is blocked by Austin Thompson. Ford muscles it back. Two Black Bears collide at center ice, and now Keplinger moves into the zone with it. Wax it off the wall, and offside was called. Late, I might add. 
13.53 remaining here in our opening frame. Rowe tied up on the draw. Salak works it loose. Played it back over for Schultz. Schultz. Pass dipped at center by Butita. Salak would have, or Rowe, I should say, would have been away all alone right there. French makes it hit the corner. Salak trying to play this around the boards. Picked off by Lopez. Moved out top. Oliveri shot from the point. Deflected wide. Butita hops on it. Salak banks it off the wall. Forze settles it down. Picked off by Salak in the neutral zone. Rowe. Try to drop it back for Butita. French can't clear it. And now will deflect that pass as Binghamton tried to set up the attack. Lopez watching Butita. Banks it off the wall for D'Angelo. Takes a couple of whacks from French. Back out top, D'Angelo. Watching, waiting, shooting. That one deflected wide again with room in front was Thompson to get the tip. French and Butita over there. Schultz shoots. Babic made the stop. Juicy rebound. Kick down in front. Rowe. Touches it along for Butsita, and now ahead for Salak, who chips this around Oliveri. Salak moves nicely into the zone, hip checked and taken down, and that will be a penalty. It's going to be a clear-cut tripping call. It's going to go on Chad Lopez. North Carolina to the power play for the first time tonight. And that's just another play where Jan's able to protect the puck, get it into the zone, get space, get position, and force a bad play. Twelve thirty-four to go here in our first period. Puck dropped on the power play. Schnapp first. Baker, Ford, and PV are the five on this initial power play unit. Ford, near side, out top first, fakes a shot, back for Baker. Baker leaves it back over for Ford, fakes a slap shot. Toe drags his way into the middle of the ice, but he had the puck broken free. PV and a man come together, and that is whacked up and out of play. Heads up over there. Ford over for Baker, shoots through traffic, Forze made the glove stop. Now cleared up and out by the Black Bears, it'll come on goal. Babic will touch this ahead. Ford looking for space through the neutral zone. Oh, <laughs> what a move on Lewis. Here comes Gus Ford, drops it back for PB, shoots and a chest save by Forze. 11.46 remaining. Here in our opening frame. They get a look at Lucas Rowe with Susie, Salak, Pastuka, and Keplinger on this second power play unit. Rowe at the right point down the wall. Keplinger centers it for Pastuka, looking for a one timer. Susie will wind and fire, and that missed just wide. Keplinger trying to gain position on the near side. Pastuka will enter the fray as well. Salak works it free out of the tie-up. Keplinger out top row. Settles this down. Cross ice Susie. Susie banks it off the wall for Pastuka. Swap spots with Susie. Pastuka high point. Left side Susie down the wall to the dot. Looking for a shooting lane. None available to play it back for Rowe. Rowe skates into the high slot. Shoots that deflected far wide. Susie along the wall. Final half minute of this first power play. Keplinger. Settles down the puck. Back over for Susie. Cross ice it comes for Rowe. Rowe. Waiting. Delaying. Looking for a lane. Pastuka trying to shoot that one short side. Hit a stick. Keplinger back out top for Rowe. And it comes all the way out of the zone. This is a quick moving ice surface as it has been all weekend. The puck has a mind of its own. That means it's a good ice surface. That's the good news. Here's Rowe. Moving in and a stick 
Deflected that up and out of play. 10.34 to go. Lutita can't win the draw. Powell does as the penalty has expired. The Carolina 0 for 1 on the power play thus far. Stretch pass ahead for Lopez. Just out of the box. Trying to kick this deep into the zone. Bioni. Try to work it free. Able to tip that pass. And the feed out to the point comes all the way back down to the opposite end. Forze played it outside the trapezoid. That was dangerous. Powell. Banks it off the wall. The trapezoid rule does not apply in the FPHL, but those lines are still painted on formerly AHL ice, where it would apply. So no harm, no foul. Thompson down low. Lopez trying to center this one off the pad of Babic. Thompson takes a shove from Butita, and Butita moves along. Feeds it into the middle of the ice for Schnapp. Schnapp down the wing. Backhand pass for Pringle. Pringle slams on the break. Stick lifted. Takes a whack from Lopez, and... Kirkby will move this up and out. Nine and a half to go. Kirkby works it into the zone. Babbitt makes the stop. And we'll get a whistle with 9.26 to go here in our first period. So far, so good for the Thunderbirds. Boris Babbitt and company on the goal from Danny Martin have a 1-0 lead halfway through our opening frame. We're back in 30 seconds. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. TV. 9.26 to go here in our opening frame. Baz is doing a, a whale of a job up here, I must say. Look there at Dawson Baker entering the face-off dot. It's almost like he knows you're filming him here. He and Yates are set to take the draw. Baker wins it. Martin. Plays it around the wall. PV through the legs of Keplinger. Picked off by Boylar, who shoots it on goal. Babic made the stop. Worked ahead now for PV. Backhanded, just barely able to get it out of the zone. But it comes free at the red line. Moved in by Fitzgerald. Around the wall, Babic touches this over. Barton for Ford. Held in at the point by Fitzgerald. Trying to go down the wall for Kirkby. Baker whacks it up the wall. And it comes out of the zone. Fitzgerald shouldered by Ford. Keplinger. Had a shot at it. Yates. Watched closely by the guys in white sweaters. Can't let him get the edge work going. Fitzgerald slams on the brakes. Gets around Peavy. Here's Yates working in. Backhand shot. Oh, Babbitt got it. Short side. What a stop. Eight forty-one to go here in the first. Babbitt made that save look a heck of a lot easier than it was. That's a tough angle to shoot from and a tough angle to make a save on. On a guy that's got a pretty good backhand shot. One timer from Oliveri from the point off the draw, tipped wide. Susie has control, banks it up the wall. Salak gloves this down, but it's whacked back into the zone. Two on one was developing if Salak could have gotten control of it. Rowe, cross ice, nice play for Pastuka. Dumped into the zone. Schultz controlling back of his own goal. The Binghamton captain moving this one ahead. Into the middle it comes for Newberg. Schultz has to recover at the red line and dump it in. Babic 
To the right for Firth, pass picked off, look out here, pad save, bad back on the shot from Everett Thompson. DeLock, pivots, Brett Parker watches him, gives him a whack, DeLock plays it over for Firth, Firth takes a whack and gets it out of the zone. At the red line, Kirkby dangles through a couple of defenders, and now poke check, or that's Oliveri I should say, poke check three, and now Oliveri levels Firth back of the play, Salak battling with Newberg, Oliveri's pass picked off by Pastuka and dumped in deep all the way around the kick plate. Schultz, near side, almost taken away there by Rowe, but now moved out to center. D'Angelo skates into the zone, pokes it past Firth. Babic out of his goal to play it around the wall. Gravenikov nicely through his legs for Schnapp, who will move this ahead. Schnapp, cross ice speed, it comes Butita. Butita, again, tipped into the zone by Pringle. Powell. Behind his own net. Cross ice, it comes Lopez. Lopez moves this ahead for D'Angelo. Seven minutes to go here in our first period. Worked free by Pringle. Butita and Lopez fighting for position. Picked off by Bioni and now moved ahead for Schnapp. They're able to tip it ahead. Poke checked by Yarwood. Rabenikov has it at the red line. I'll get it in deep. Forze settles it down for Lopez. Now for Yarwood. Lost the handle on it a bit, but he's able to find... Lewis at the red line. Lewis into the zone. Works past Martin. Mac Lewis down the wall. Poke checked by an alert Putita, who then sidesteps to hit. Carolina might have some numbers here. Schnapp racing up the near side wing. Works into the high slot. Shoots! And Forze made that stop. 6.27 to go in the first period. That's an interesting song choice from the DJ. It's Crazy Frog. Last time I heard that one, I think I was eight years old. That was a that was a minivan special in my family. Keplinger plays it back for Baker, shoots, and Forze makes the glove stop. 6.25. Well, how's that for a musical turn of events? We go from Crazy Frog to the B-52s. After a centering pass out in front, it's poked loose, banked off the glass. Baker trying to stick this down. And oh, two Black Bears collide there at center ice. Yarwood, and I believe that was Mac Lewis. Inadvertently, Lewis's stick is stuck back at the opposite end. Somebody has to hop on for him. Official will bring the stick back to the Binghamton bench. Move down the ice and an icing call on Binghamton with 5.59 to go on the first. Boy, all kinds of calamity there defensively for Binghamton there at center. Carolina will get an offensive zone draw out of it. 10-6 of the shots in favor of Binghamton, but Carolina leads it one to nothing. Keplinger to take the draw. Tied up. Ford tried to shoot it on goal. Blocked in front by Powell and now moved out by Kirkby. Kirkby near side. Shouldered by Peavy. Peavy hits the deck, trying to work the puck loose. Here's Yates, wrapping around the back of the goal. Powell, one-timer, he scores. Kyle Powell on the one-timer. On another quick developing play. That's how Binghamton scored most of their goals. Little quick developing plays. Happens again there. 5.45 to go. Here in the first, and we have a tie hockey game. one one a good screen in front of the net it looked like too. Boilar around the wall. Firth trying to muscle this ahead. Tied up back of the goal. Five and a half to go. Centering pass picked off by Salak and now his pass picked off by Newberg. Babic will stick this to the cross side. Firth head for Salak. Watched by Everett Thompson. Salak moves it ahead. Pastuka he's got some space. Yuri shoots. Oh missed far side. Held in by Bioni, shot was blocked in front. Now Everett Thompson slams on the brakes. Finds some space to dump this in. Firth gloves it down. That stretch pass hits Salak in the boot. Bioni will recover. In the middle, Butita tipped in, but not control. And now offside is called with 4.58. 
to go here in the first period. Different game now, 1-1 is our score in the final five minutes of this first period and the final timeout of our opening frame. We're back in 30 seconds. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. 1-1 is our score, 4.58 to go here in the first period. And another good, close, tight, checking hockey game between two of the better teams of the FPHL. And we can hear Noah the Toga Man down to the, down to our far side here behind the Thunderbirds bench. And we told him to wear the red toga and that was the right call. Binghamton's worn black twice this weekend. Can't have those two match up, can we? Centering pass for D'Angelo from Austin Thompson was poked free by Martin. Lopez hopped back on it. Thompson back of the goal. Bank pass out top Schultz. Settles this down. Shot blocked by the Buda Butita. D'Angelo shoveled back of the goal by Martin. Butita enters this fray as well. Curling match ensues in the near side corner. And it's moved ahead by Butita. Butita moving through neutral ice. Cross ice comes to Pringle. Puck just did not agree with him. Shoots to the goal and it banks in. It banks in off Oliveri. How do you like that? Two to one. We have fumbling, pinballing puck. And it found its way through. Looked like it might have hit both Oliveri and Forze. We get a look at the replay here on the video board. Yeah, it looked like it hit the skate of Oliveri and then the stick, the goal stick. of Forze, so Pringle will get credit for it. That's his eighth of the season. Martin and Pringle with the goal so far. Firth cross corner dump. Putita will try and hold this in and it's flipped up and out of play. 4-11 to go in our opening period as now Schultz gives Schnapp a shove. And those two will be separated. Not the first time he's drawn the ire of someone in an opposite sweater. 12-7. Shots in favor of Binghamton, but Carolina leads it 2-1. Schultz. Watched by Schnapp. Moved around the wall. And poked and nearly held in by Firth. And now moved down the length of the ice. Four minutes to go here in the first. Peavy. Back over for Butita. Stick handling. Pokes it back of the goal. Here's Peavy. Moving it ahead, Peavy chipped this off the wall ahead for Butita. That picked off by Lewis, skates back into neutral ice. Taken away nicely by Pringle ahead for Butita. Here comes the Thunderbird captain. Go dragging and shooting, and that one goal sticked up and out of play into the netting. 3.42 to go here in the first period. Now this is the best music choice of the first period by far. Big Metallica guy. Baz is looking at me weird. It's okay. He'll understand the greatness of Metallica one day soon. Baker wins the draw. Keplinger pokes it back for PB. Just barely holds this in. Back of the goal it comes. Yarwood all the way around the dasher. PB shouldering for position. He collides with Parker and it's moved out now by Powell. Powell for Newberg. 
Watched by Geplinger. Back of the goal it goes. Powell got a tip on it. Now Babic steered that one wide. Gus Ford moving out with it. Shoved and hauled down by Everett Thompson. And nothing will come of it. Thompson moves it ahead now. Takes a shove from Baker. Here's Ford who blows a tire. And recovers back of the goal. Firth ahead for Keplinger. He'll wait and bank this all the way around. Powell trying to settle this down. Around the wall, Yarwood comes to him. He's able to get it out. Or D'Angelo, I should say, gets that one out. Bioni comes to this. Yarwood trying to pitch along the wall. Comes free now to Ford. He'll drop it back near side corner. Backhanded around the kick plate. Forze. Or I should say Boilar. Got my Quebecian names mixed up there for a second. Here's Boilar moving in on the back can. That one sits wide. Martin ties him up at the far side corner. We have a good old-fashioned curling match. Work three up the wall for Lopez. Lopez through traffic, tipped on goal, and Babic got a piece of it with the blocker. Thompson had the tip in the high slot. Two minutes to go, first period. Baker waiting to break things out here. Stretch pass for four. He's able to settle this down. Doesn't have a lane to go with it. He'll go cross ice. Danny Martin will chase after it. Boylar will play it back. Or Fitzgerald. Martin will curl back. And Pastuka, Rowe, and Salak will hop on. Stretch pass for Kirkby. Hits him. Kirkby moving in. Good hit right there by Bioni to stop the toe drag attempt. Salak. Or I should say Martin works it up the wall to Salak. And another curling match to the far side of the ice. Multi-man rugby scrum. Eventually pop free. Salak. Pirouette that moves it ahead for Martin. Martin, cross corner dump. Under a minute and a half to go. Pestuka battling for a position. Whacked up the wall. Rose got it on his backhand. Back into his defensive zone ahead for Martin. He'll restart the engine. Danny Martin, cross ice it comes. Rowe, and now a whistle. I believe that might have been offside. And it was. I didn't think you were allowed to play Alan Jackson in the state of New York, but here we are. There's plenty of country music fans up here, I think. Rowe can't win the draw. Picked off at center, though, by Firth. Dick is whacked out of the hands of a black bear. That's Brett Parker. He'll go back and recover it. One minute remaining here in our first period. Pastuka or Salak. The lock slams on the brakes, trying to center one for Peavy. Could not. The lock pivots on the backhand, back to the forehand row. Shoots short side, save made. Schultz able to work it ahead and get it out. Kicked by Peavy at center with 40 seconds left. Pastuka near side on the delayed offside. So Binghamton will touch back up. Pastuka back for Peavy. Picked off by Oliveri, who muscles his way into the zone. Shoots and missed just wide. Schultz picks this back up between the legs of Peavy. Firth will settle this down. 20 seconds left. Pass ahead trying to knock it out of midair was Butita. Schultz. Cross ice. First steps up. Can't work it free. Dropped over for Oliveri. Works his way around Peavy. Oliveri delaying. Touched on goal. Babbitt got a piece of it with three, with two, with one. And it'll stay out of the net. Bit chaotic there at the end of that first period. But Carolina keeps Binghamton off the scoreboard once more. Shots are 13-10 in favor of Binghamton, but the scoreboard reads 2-1. to one. Good guys after one period of play. We'll be back to break down this first period and tell you what's going on. We don't have any Federal Prospects Hockey League scores to tell you about, so... Uh, why don't we tell you what's going on around the rest of North Carolina with the fateful marksman of the SPHL. Tell you what went on with the Hurricanes last night. And we'll get you caught up on the rest of the NHL action as well on this Sunday afternoon. Thunderbirds lead it 2-1. to one. After one, we're back to break this one down and get your scores from around the state and the country after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. 
Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Again, two to one is our score after one period of play. Vinny Susi got a, or actually, no, let's go before that. Danny Morton at 2.04 of the first period after Gus Ford made an absolutely gorgeous pass before getting pounded into the boards, took a clean hit to make an even cleaner play, a pass right on the tape to Danny Martin who sniped it in the back of the net. And two minutes and four seconds in, Danny Martin and Gus Ford combined to give Carolina a one nothing lead. 12 seconds later though, Vinny Susi, a delay of game penalty, incidentally shooting the puck over the near side glass. Carolina killed that one off. 7.26 of the first. Chad Lopez off for clipping on a hip check for on Jan Salak, I should say. It's not a penalty you hear called every now and then. Usually it's just tripping. But clipping was the call as it was definitely a clip, not a trip, if you want to get technical about it. Carolina... Not shotless on that power play. Had a few good opportunities, but were held off the scoreboard at that point. 14-15 of the first. 
Kyle Powell from Gavin Yates and Everett Thompson on the one-timer. Tied the game at one. Just a minute and 31 seconds later, Justin Pringle from John Butita. Pringle had trouble with the puck in the near side corner down here. Puck just would not agree with him. Finally, he just sent it on goal, hoped for something good, and something good happened. It hit the skate of Don Oliveri and then the goal stick of Jeremy Forze, and boom, back of the net. Funky bounce, but a good one for Carolina, and a two to one lead, and that's where we stand. Shots 13 10 in favor of the Binghamton Black Bear. We'll take a timeout here on our intermission report. When we come back, we'll tell you what went on with the Carolina Hurricanes last night, since there's no FPHL scores to tell you about. We'll tell you what's to come next week in the FPHL, though. We'll also take you around the SPHL, see what the Fayetteville Marksmen are up to today, and the AHL, where the Charlotte Checkers are in action. Scores from around the state and the country coming up on this Sunday afternoon. Carolina leads it 2-1. to one. We're back with more after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Your first intermission, I should say, underway. Binghamton, if you thought today, tonight, last night, to this afternoon was a quick turnaround for Carolina, think about Binghamton. They got to go all the way to the opposite end of the continental United States. They head down to Mississippi on a Wednesday to take on the Mississippi Sea Wolves. That's an 8.05 start there. So Binghamton will hop up and hop up and load off and get set to head down to Biloxi for a Wednesday matchup with the Sea Wolves. Again, Thunderbirds leading Binghamton. Two to one after the first period of play. Last night, Carolina Hurricanes in action as we get to score some around the state and the country with no other FPHL action to tell you about. Hurricanes fell three to two to the Anaheim Ducks. Down three nothing, made a comeback of it. Cut it to one goal, but unable to pull it out in the end as Anaheim got the winner. Scores from around the NHL this afternoon. Columbus, the Blue Jackets. They had the Minnesota Wild in action. 
Two to nothing, Columbus at the end of two periods of play in that one. New York Islanders and the Winnipeg Jets just underway from Manitoba. And four minutes into that first period, that one is scoreless. One final already. An early start from Buffalo and a score fest in that one. Capitals a day after beating the New York Rangers handily at home head up to Buffalo and get trounced 7-4 to four by the Buffalo Sabres who are on an absolute roll and one of the more surprising success stories in the NHL this year. Good news from the Crown Coliseum in Fayetteville. The Marksman at the end of the first period out shooting the Huntsville Havoc 13-8 and they have a 2-0 lead on the Huntsville Havoc at the end of that first period in Fayetteville. To the AHL, Charlotte Checkers in action this afternoon. Sadly, not as good a result for them as they, the Florida Panther affiliated Charlotte Checkers fall to the St. Louis Blues affiliated Springfield Thunderbirds, four to one, the final in that one. Or sorry, that's at the end of the first, that's not final, but four to one at the end of the first period between Springfield and Charlotte. Shots in that one, 21 to three in favor of the Springfield Thunderbirds over the Charlotte Checkers. So Checkers will be looking for quite the comeback in that second period up in Springfield, Massachusetts. These Carolina Thunderbirds have a two to one lead of the Big Ups Black Bears. And we'll tell you what's to come in the second period after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? 
Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get Prince Memorial Arena? Brett Wiseman alongside you. John Abutita's got control of this back of the goal. Trying to move this ahead, gets it for Firth. Trying to touch pass it back over for Firth was Bioni and now thrown on goal. You can hear Toga Noah down there on the near side. Standing, let's go Thunderbird. Bioni scoots it ahead. Now for Butsita. Minute gone by here in this second period. Firth. Moves this ahead, Baker, couldn't get to it. Schultz wrapped it around the wall. Kirkby trying to bank it off the wall. Gus Ford will recover in the defensive end. Center it for Grabenikoff. Grabenikoff ahead for Keplinger. Stretch pass picked off by Schultz, looking for Baker. Lewis drops this back for Kirkby. Kirkby, bothered by a pair of Thunderbird. Moved along for Susie and up ahead. Here's Gus Ford. In alone is Gus Ford. He shoots and a miss just wide. And now a whistle. 8 19. 18 19 to go here in this second period of play. Thunderbirds can't get control off the draw. Binghamton will move it into the defensive, or the offensive end, I should say. And Ford blows a tire at center, tries to drop this back. Baker trying to center that one for Keplinger. 
moved ahead and all the way down. This might be an icing call if it goes far enough. Nope, waved off. PV will come to it for Martin. Danny Martin skates around one, moves it ahead. Keplinger near side. Baker has it poked loose. Brett Parker takes a whack here from Martin. Trying to center this Thompson from blind backhand pass. Hack and whack time in front. Back of the goal, Thompson. Lopez is shot. Shoulder to side by Babbick. Schultz all the way down. Can't hold that in. Baker and Schultz in a foot race for this. Baker trying to work it free from Schultz. He'll throw the body. Fitzgerald ahead for Parker. Bank pass up the wall for Thompson. Thompson has it poked free by Peavy. Now Pringle enters the fray. Thompson works it down low. Kirkby knocked loose by Baker and now played back for Peavy. Ahead for Rowe. And in the middle of the ice, Danny Martin. He'll move ahead with it. Danny Martin drops it back for Pringle. Centers it for Rowe. Rowe trying to shoulder off a defender and eventually Kirkby works it free. Pringle stole it and shot it short side on goal, but the save was made. Brett Parker dips this ahead and Peavy makes a nice play on him. And are they going to call that a penalty? Wow. I don't know what to say on that one. Just because the puck's not on the guy's stick, that doesn't mean both guys are going after the puck. He's trying to pin him off the puck. I don't know how that's interference. But that's the call. I, I'm, I, I'm befuddled, to say the least, on that one. He had the puck chipped around him, and he's trying to make All right, I, I got to stop. Schultz, a one-timer, he scores. Looky there. There's not a whole lot to say after that one. Not anything good, at least. Carolina's got control now off the draw. Firth trying to move this ahead. Sticked off of Binghamton Black Bear. Here's Rowe trying to shoot that one. Fanned onto the bit. Stick was lifted from behind. Powell up the wall. Pastuka makes a nice play to try and hold control. The lock trying to work it free. Multi-man rugby scrum far side. Wrapped around the wall. Firth will come to this. Firth shoots one through traffic. Couldn't get a tip. Comes free to Kirkby. Kirkby dangles around a man. Towards the center line, here's Powell coming on, shoots and a miss just high. Lewis shoots one on, Babbitt made that stop, but he's able to control the rebound. 15-59 remaining here in this first period. Lopez to take the draw opposite Keplinger. Keplinger wins it back for Firth. Couple of the bodies hit the deck. Kepler Firth, I should say, banks that up and out. Lopez just barely onside. Stick lifted nicely from behind by Keplinger. And Lopez hits the deck. Keplinger's got to recover. Reverse hit by Lopez. Now Ford's finally got it. Stretch pass ahead for Dawson Baker. Backhand pass for Keplinger. Oh, just too far. Golden opportunity right there. Ford able to pick this off. Stick handle his way down the hash marks. Shoot short side, save made by Forze. Lost control of it, thrown out top Thompson. Thompson works this free. Into the zone comes Austin Thompson, drops it back for D'Angelo. Whacked and lifted from behind by Keplinger. And now numbers for Carolina. Keplinger for Firth. Firth, shoot, score! Tucker Firth with the rocket! Just like that! It's 3-2, good guys! An absolute blast of a wrist shot from the high slot. There was one of those fancy goal cameras back there. He would have shattered it. Oh, what a shot. Far side. Forze had no chance. Right through the wickets. Five hole was open for business on that one.
Boilar. Feeds it over for Fitzgerald. He'll work it deep into the zone. Babbitt plays it around the wall. Picked off, centered in front, but tipped wide by a Carolina defensive stick. Butita maneuvers this around. Here's Pringle hopping to this. Slams on the brakes. Sanders for Grabinikoff. Ooh, Victor couldn't quite settle that puck down. Poke free back of the goal. Newberg. Bank pass nearly picked off by Pringle at center. And Babick will cut down the angle. Fitzgerald pokes this free. Staring to center one for Lewis. Couldn't settle it down. Played around the wall. Lewis could not get to it once again. Grabinikoff does. D to D for Susie. Near side, Susie, oh, nice little backhand saucer pass there for Pringle. Pringle, pass poked free, and now move to the cross side. Chipped up and out of the zone, this should be an icing call. Nope, waved off. Pringle, in his own end, moves it over for Peavy. Peavy, absolutely dust Mac Lewis at center ice, drops it back for Butita, centers one for Schnapp. Up, shoots, pad, save made, Forze. Trying to go to the same side Firth went to, but Forze was able to get the pads back down in time. Boilar. Barreau. He'll skate back into the high slot with space, shoots, that one's blocked. Loose in the high slot, schnapp. Couldn't quite control the rebound. Martin able to hold this in. Pistuka, cross ice row, shoots, and the save is made. Schnapp was leaking back door two. Pastuka holds it in. Here's Schnapp. Shoots through traffic. Save made by Forze and Rowe. Couldn't whack the rebound. On down the ice it comes. Will this go far enough for icing? It will with 13-16 to go. And now we have a whistle. Thunderbirds back on top. 3-2 to two on top of the Binghamton Black Bears. More second period action coming up right after this when we come back in 30 seconds. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street, or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com. Afternoon on Thunderbirds TV. As the Thunderbirds have an offensive zone draw upcoming. Rowe will take it. Rowe can't win the draw. Moved ahead now by Binghamton. Off the icing call. Yates shoots it through the crease wide. Pastuka trying to work this free from Thompson. Martin shovels it out. And now Rowe starts the engine. Three on two developing. Rowe for Pastuka. Skate to stick. Dangles around a man. Backhands one through the blue paint wide. Now an opportunity coming back the other way for Binghamton. Lopez lost the handle and then lost his twig. Moved ahead. Rowe was offside, so he'll have to touch back up. So Schultz will await, try to break things out here. It's 12.35 to go in the second. Schultz hits the gas pedal and moves up the far side. Tipped into the zone by Thompson. Thompson, back of the goal, it's Peavy. Trying to work this out around Lopez. Ford does work it loose. Baker touches it ahead for Keplinger, who works his way around a man. and creates a two, now a three on one. Baker, shoot, save, made, centering pass. Banked off a defender and wide. Still loose in front. Keplinger tried a spinning shot on goal. That was stopped. Martin fakes a slap shot. Keplinger, cross ice, Peavy. Wires one on goal, save made. Juicy rebound in front. Puck wouldn't settle down. Peavy for Martin. Shooting one through traffic on goal with Keplinger screening in front. And Forze made the stop. 
with quite a few great opportunities right there for Carolina. Eleven fifty-three to go here in this second period. Shots now twenty to sixteen in favor of Carolina. Rowe wins the draw. Pasuka out top. Cross ice. Bioni through traffic. Tipped on by Salak. Save made. Rebound. Loose in front. And now somebody else lost its wig. Everett Thompson trying to move this ahead. Played off the kick plate in front. Babic will steer this aside. Bioni touches it D to D for Firth between Thompson and a defender. And now moved ahead for Pastuka. Stretch pass too far for Salak. Icing waved off and hit a Binghamton skate on its way through. Powell away from Rowe, leaves it for Yarwood. Yarwood banks it off the back wall, turned over to Rowe, who pokes it free. Out top, Powell throws it down the ice. Bioni picks this up at the defensive end, plays it over for Firth. Stretch pass ahead, Pastuka. Yuri Pastuka down the far side wing. Shoots one on, far side, and that one shouldered up and out of play with 11.02 to go here in our second period. 21-17, the shot stand. Pringle off the draw, Schnapp a shot off the faceoff that missed just high. Trying to dig this out near side, Pringle. Couldn't work it free, Fitzgerald has control. He muscles it ahead. Here's Yates working on Susie. Yates shoots short side off the side of the goal. Susie trying to dig this out with help from Schnapp and Pringle. Pringle takes a whack from Kirkby who works it loose. Kirkby and Pringle battle, and Pringle works it ahead for Butita. For Grabenikoff, who then turns one over and will take a penalty. That's going to be a high sticking call as Grabenikoff is down in a heap. And I just saw a signal, I believe, for unsportsmanlike conduct on someone as well as the Carolina penalty box door has opened. So we might get four on four here out of this. Rabenikov took a stick up high after playing the high slot. We'll see. Both guys collided and then an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. I saw the signal. The officials sort things out. It's Mac Lewis that's in the penalty box for the high sticking call. And it looked like one of the officials made a signal for an unsportsmanlike penalty. And now the Binghamton penalty box door has opened. So either way, I think Carolina might get a power play out of this. Kirkby is standing at the open door of his penalty box. And it's a five on three power play, I believe. How about this? Full two-minute five-on-three. Twelve's got two. That's Lewis for the high stick. And 17, Kirkby, two for unsportsmanlike. How do you like that?
Carolina wins the draw, forward back for Rowe. Rowe cross ice, it comes Susie. Long five on three, Susie out top, shoots through traffic, glove save for Jay. 11 seconds into this full five on three power play. Keplinger wins the draw. Susie will hop up into the play. To the left side, Ford delaying. Susie for Rowe, right side, out top of the dot. Below the dot, it comes Baker. Back out top, Rowe. Susie, one-timer. Oh, just barely. Gable get to the piece of that was Forze. Rowe skates out to the high slot. Dangles one for Baker. Back for Rowe, one-timer. Blocked by Newberg. Rowe blocks the clearance attempt. Holds this in. Rowe, Gates out to the high slot, cross ice Ford. Minute 15 to go on the five on three. Ford winds up, fakes the shot, skates around, back for Rowe, shoots, blocked. Susie shoots one on and Forze made the stop. Nine thirty-two to go here in the second and a minute five left on the Carolina five on three power play. Peppering the net with shots in the first half of it. We'll see what happens in the back half of this Carolina 5-on-3 power play when we return in 30 seconds. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher. Pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health, expect remarkable. Matthew Bazridge operating our camera this afternoon on Thunderbirds TV. A minute five remaining on the Carolina five on three power play. Borzay's had to stand on his head here on this five on three. Lewis off for the high stick on Grabenikoff and then following up Kirkby with an unsportsmanlike penalty. Baker wins the draw, Ford out top, fakes the shot, might have fanned on it a bit, now Oliveri will clear it. Babic pokes this aside. Pastuka will move this ahead with Ford, Salak, Baker, and Schnapp. Cross ice, it comes Salak. Out top, Baker. Assessing his option, swapping spots with Pastuka. Baker skates into the high slot, shoots, save, made, rebound, hacking and whacking in front. Oliveri couldn't get it out. Pastuka holds it in, shoots, score! Gary Pastuka, stay hot! His ninth goal in his last eight games has given Carolina a two goal lead. Eight fifty nine to go here in the second. And still thirty two seconds remaining on now five on four as Lewis is released. Row on the draw moves it ahead when it's worked over to Powell. The final 25 seconds. Stretch pass ahead, it comes on goal. Babbitt will glove it down and settle it for Pringle. 20 seconds left on this now five on four power play. Pringle drops it back for Keplinger. Keplinger skates his way through the neutral zone, works it in. Keplinger stops up down on the near side corner, back for Butita with six, with five, with four. Ducey. Keplinger outside the dots. Penalty has expired. Susie through traffic, tipped high off the glass. Rowe out top Bootsita. Trying to center one for Keplinger. Now moved ahead, Mac Lewis. 
or I should say Yates, bodied by Butina. What a back check by the captain to thwart a one on all breakaway. Now Susie ties a man up in the corner. Poked out. Boy, circle that play by John Butina right there. Pringle trying to dangle around a man. Thompson shoots it on goal. Babbitt blockers it up and out of play. 7.51 remaining here in the second period. Carolina, two goal lead. Pastuka's ninth goal in his last eight games. Has made this a 4-2 game on the five-on-three power play. Martin whacks it up the wall. Boilar works it back in deep. Peavy trying to hop back on this. Ahead for Salak. Trying to muscle off Lopez. Tied up. Boilar just barely able to hold that in. Now shot blocked. And he gives Martin a shove in the back to boot. Here's a shot from the point. Tipped just high over the crossbar. Lopez back for Thompson. Touches it for Boilar. Boilar. Dangling around Salak. Baker trying to work this free. Salak tied up. Martin enters the fray now as well on the near side. Salak tried to poke this around Boilar. Lopez tried to shoot one. That was blocked. And now Boilar all the way up the glass. D'Angelo out top. Boilar right side through traffic. That got on goal with Lopez in front. Babic saw it and made the pad save. Now Salak trying to work it around Boilar once again. Able to get it out. Oliveri hops on. Oliveri trying to dangle around Peavy. Cross ice it comes. Kirkby dangles around. Kirkby shoots short side. Babic made the stop. And covers. Tick 45 to go. Another one of those short side saves that Babic made look a heck of a lot easier than it was. Yeah, you're staring down the shooter, but that's not an easy save to make from that angle. You got to be square to the shooter, right? To hug the post at the same time. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get you to lean a little bit. Parker shoots. Babic made the glove sa pad save. Rebound. Poked just wide. Out top. Schultz through traffic. Babic got that one too. Oh mercy. Another series of spectacular pad stops by Boris Babbitt. Draw one by Binghamton. That shot was blocked in front. Now Pringle's got control. Taken away by Everett Thompson. Stick lifted from behind. Tripped up. Call coming. And Schnapp will make the touch. And Schnapp is involved with a couple of players here. First going to go off for the trip. I don't know, maybe Schnapp voicing his frustration with what uh, may have been a bit of embellishment. And with 6.21 remaining, Binghamton's got a power play here. Carolina's got control off the draw and angrily whacked out by Justin Bioni. Yarwood moving ahead with it now. Takes a shove from Schnapp. Schnapp coming back to try and poke check this away from Yates. Yates back of the goal. Lost the handle. Grabenikov hit the deck, trying to work this out. Shove from behind. Here's Schultz. Tied up with Peavy. Peavy hits the deck, as does Schultz. And a whistle now and maybe a penalty on Peavy. <laughs> so 
So a minute 30 to go on the initial penalty. And then two minutes on PV for another trip. And false draw off the faceoff. Five on three time now for Binghamton. Yates for Kirkby below the goal line. Back across Yates, out top Oliveri. Touches it over for Yarwood, right side. Yarwood, high slot. Kirkby, short side shot. Stopped by Babick. Oliveri fakes a one-timer. Controls. Kirkby, out top Yarwood. Drops back to Oliveri. They'll swap spot. Oliveri winds up. Yarwood settles it down. Kirkby outside the dot, Oliveri, one-timer, he scores. Four to three, our score now. Binghamton still a minute, 26 seconds of now five on four power play time. So both teams have scored on lengthy five on threes now. Carolina trying to get control off the draw here. It's moved ahead. The final five minutes of this middle frame. And it comes Lewis. Lewis trying to drop this back. Centers one off the skate of Lopez and backhanded out. Carolina will just try and survive for the last minute of this now five on four power play. Lewis off the pass from Powell ahead for Lopez. Dangles in front. Centering pass is picked off and Martin will chase after this shorthanded on the clearance. Forze. Played back over now. Thompson. That's Boilar for Powell. Back for Boilar. Final 30 seconds. Boilar. Watched by Ford. Boilar. Shoves Keplinger. Works it in deep. Boilar centering pass too far for everybody and out of the zone. Powell. Bank pass off the wall. Parker. Trying to work in. Thumbs free to Thompson, centering pass Lopez, backdoor, Parker! Oh, and a pad stop by Babbitt! Held in at the point, though, by Powell. Boilar kicks it over. Martin's got control of it. He'll feed it ahead. And it'll come on goal, and the whistle will go. The penalty had not expired yet. When that puck went off the stick of Martin, so it should not be an icing call. 3.46 to go here in our second period. Power play goals from both sides on lengthy five on threes have made this a 4-3 hockey game. We're back in 30 seconds. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Earl Eisman alongside you. 3.46 to go here in our second period. Matthew Bazarin doing a fantastic job. Chad agrees. Rarely does the chat disagree. A great job. Thunderbirds a 4-3 lead, shots even 25 all.
Ford wins the draw, back for Keplinger, held in by Firth, through traffic, ooh, tipped on goal. And Forze made the stop. 3.42 remaining. Tied up off the draw, Binghamton's got it, moved ahead for Everett Thompson. Thompson. Down the wall, gets the red line, gets it in deep on goal. Parker had a shot. Babic stopped that and then stopped the backhand attempt on the rebound. And now Ford moves it ahead for Keplinger, trying to win possession from Newberg. Held in by Rowe. Rowe shoots, blocker save. Funky bounce off the wall. Parker couldn't get it from Peavy, who has it moved ahead to him by Firth and tipped into the zone by Keplinger. Chipped up by Forze. Head for Schultz, Peavy. Throws a tire in the neutral zone. Here's Everett Thompson. Over for Schultz. Through traffic, through a set of legs and wide. It'll settle down just long enough for Kirkby to hold it in. Around the wall it comes. Yarwood. Centers one picked off by Rowe nicely. Rowe ahead for four, three on two, developing. Keplinger pass was tipped and now ripped back by Lewis. Yates for Lewis. Backhander, pad save, Babbitt. Another huge save by Boris. And 28 26 are the shots. Putita off the draw, wins it. Bioni dangles through a set of black bears, now trying to chip it up and out. Yates poked it loose, two on one developing. Diving play by Bioni to break that up. Now bodies colliding back of the play. Schnapp works it out, 2.20 left in the second. Schnapp trying to center one for Pringle. Comes free to Pringle, shoots it on save, main rebound was there. But Yates trying to skate this out. He'll use that edge work again to maneuver it along. Two minutes to go, Yates. Trying to chip it in front. Whacked by Bioni. Yates. On the backhand. Out top, Schultz, one-timer, blocked by Schnapp. Butsita near side. Delaying, shoots one through traffic. That one got on goal. Butsita holds it in around the kick plate. Pringle kicks it over. The lock hops on this. The lock protecting the puck. Trying to maneuver out in the high slot. Drops it down low for Pringle. Minute 28 to go. Pringle for Butita. Settles this down, trying to center it for Salak. And free it comes to Yates. Yates working on a Martin. Into the high slot he comes. Yates down low. Poke checked loose. Whacked out. Jolt for Oliveri. Dangles through a couple. Ahead for Lopez in the final minute of the second period. Tipped up the wall, Oliveri fakes a one-timer, moves down the wall, has it picked off by Martin, and then takes a tumble. Moved up ahead, Salak will try and hop to this. Putsita has control, under a minute to go here in the second. Stretch pass too far for Rowe. Oliveri, stretch pass now for Thompson. Stick lifted from behind by Martin. D'Angelo hops to it as Martin was held up there by D'Angelo or Thompson. Lopez. Well, backhanded around the wall. Thompson. Shot blocked. Up high it comes, all the way to the far side, near side corner. And now Rowe will get this out and into the Binghamton bench. That hit the glass first, so it won't be a penalty. Eighteen seconds remaining. Here in this second period. Tied up off the draw, comes free to Baker. He'll wire it up the glass and out. 
Oliveri will touch this. Clock never started. And there's the whistle. I started my clock. Sixteen point six is on the board. And now down to eight seconds. That's about where the whistle went on our end. I believe it went with nine seconds on our clock. Eight seconds even showing on the board. Baker off the draw, trying to shoot that through traffic, held up. And now cleared with two with one. Butita will whack it out, and that will do it. Thunderbirds clinging to a four to three lead. Shots are even 28 all between the Black Bears and the Thunderbirds. But Carolina hanging on tight to a four three lead after 40 minutes of play. We'll be back to break down the second period, get you scores from not only around the NHL, but around the rest of the state of North Carolina. Charlotte Checkers and Fayetteville Marksman in action this afternoon as well. We'll tell you what's going on with them. We went on with the Carolina Hurricanes last night also. There's no FBHL games to tell you about on this Sunday afternoon. The league's only game on this Sunday afternoon is a darn good one. 4-3 Thunderbirds after 40 minutes of play. We'll come back and break things down and get you scores from around the state and the country after this, this is Thunderbirds Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. 
Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Series finale. Let's break down the second period for you, shall we? Pretty eventful to say the least. Blake Peavy with a, let's call it questionable interference call at 317 after the puck was chipped around him on the far side boards, trying to pin his man off. Puck was still in the vicinity of both players, but again, penalty was called four seconds into that power play. Jake Schultz on a one-timer from Yarwood and Kirkby scoring to tie the game at two. A minute and 27 seconds later, Tucker Firth on a three-on-two rush, rocketing one home with a wicked wrister through the five hole of Jeremy Forze. Keplinger picks up the assist. That made it three to two. And then a lengthy five on three for Carolina. Victor Gabinikov took a stick up high at 9.32. Gavin Yates was called for elbowing actually on that. Tyson Kirkby, the signal was made for unsportsmanlike conduct, but it's gone in the book as abuse of officials. So those two minute minors coinciding, two minute five on three power play. And with just about a minute to go on at Yuri Pastuka. Sent one through traffic that found its way to the back of the net. Gave Carolina a 4 2 lead. Tucker Firth then off for tripping at 13 39. 30 seconds later, Blake Peavy off for the same infraction. And 35 seconds after Peavy's infraction, Don Oliveri on a one timer from the point. Turk Kirkby and Yarwood pick up the assist. That made it four to three, and that is where we stand. Shots even, 28-28 between two evenly matched teams. Playoff style hockey all weekend here in Binghamton and what might be a preview of the Commissioner's Cup Final. Carolina needs a regulation win. Well, they just need a win, period. Need to come out of here with two points at least. They did that last night with the overtime winner. And hopefully they'll do that again today, at least two points in this one. To keep pace in the race for home ice in the FPHL. No other games in the FPHL to tell you about this afternoon. Quick turnaround for Binghamton, though. They'll be making their way down to Mississippi for a game on a Wednesday, and then they'll have an off day on Thursday, just as Carolina did last week. But with no FPHL scores to tell you about, we'll tell you what's going on in the rest of the state of North Carolina. Fayetteville Mark's been in action along with the Charlotte Checkers in the SBHL and the AHL. We'll tell you what happened with the Carolina Hurricanes last night and what's going on on a Sunday in the NHL. Thunderbirds lead it 4-3 after two. Scores from around the state and the country coming up on the other side of this timeout. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-39. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, 
Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Tell you what went on last night with the Carolina Hurricane. Lost three to two at the hands of the Anaheim Duck. Unable to make a complete comeback in that one. Let's take you around the state of North Carolina more here on this afternoon. Fayetteville Marksmen are in action. They led one to nothing after one over the Huntsville Havoc from the Crown Coliseum in Fayetteville. They now lead the Havoc two to one after two periods of play out shooting. The Havoc 22 to 21. Bednard and Patterson with the goals for Fayetteville. Actually, two to nothing after one. Phillips with the goal there for Huntsville to make it two to one after 40 minutes of play in that one. 40 minutes of play gone by between the Checkers and the Springfield Thunderbirds, the Charlotte Checkers, that is. Charlotte. Able to get one back. They trailed four to one after one, but they get the only goal of the second period, a minute and eight seconds into it. They trail the Florida Panther affiliated Charlotte Checkers, that is, trail the St. Louis Blues affiliated Springfield Thunderbirds four to two after two periods of play. Shots 26 to 16 in favor of Springfield. Those Thunderbirds may be leading the Charlotte Checkers, but these Thunderbirds are leading the Binghamton Black Bear four to three after two periods of play. We'll tell you what's to come and what should be an exciting third period on the other side of this break. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. 
Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, Brett Wiseman alongside you. Thunderbirds a 4-3 lead over the Binghamton Black Bears after two periods of play. And you see the importance not just of this weekend series, but the importance of today's game as well. After the last two, Carolina has a three win advantage, a four point advantage, and a 16 plus 16 goal differential advantage over these Binghamton Black Bears and a pretty sizable advantage in the win percentage column as well. But you see the importance there of the red line in the middle of your screen. That's home ice throughout the duration of the playoffs. Another tiebreaker is head-to-head -head record. Carolina would be 3-0 against Binghamton if they could get a regulation win, or 2-1-1, I should say. 2-0-1, I should say, against Binghamton here with an overtime win. Third period coming up next. Thunderbirds hockey. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network. and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Back to action here in our third period of play. Puck is dropped and away we go. Back of the goal. Oliveri moves it ahead. Nearly picked off in neutral ice by Firth. Now banked off the wall by Pastuka all the way down the ice. 
Touched by Forze. Back for Oliveri. Calling back reinforcement. And a delayed penalty coming up here on Carolina. Newberg. Touch. Could not be made still. And now Bioni will make said touch. 19-16 to go. What is the penalty? Is this a high stick? Is the call. I didn't see a whole lot right there, but it's not the first time not seeing a whole lot has been the case this weekend. Face off one by Carolina here, shorthanded. Reverse hit by Firth on Schultz, cross eyes. Oliveri missed the mark. And it whacks all the way up and out. Yarwood skating around Schnapp. Nice stick lift from behind by Schnapp to break the play up for the moment. Binghamton is able to enter the zone. Kirkby shouldered off the puck, cross side, it comes Schultz. Lewis throws it down low. Kirkby back of the net. Right side, Schultz. On the far side, pivots. Moves it out top. Oliveri fanning on the one-timer from the Ovechkin office. First stick lift from behind and now cleared down the length of the ice by Carolina. Forze will settle this down. Carolina will change penalty killers. Keplinger, Grabenikov, Baker, and Morton are the four. Shots down 29 28 in favor of Binghamton. Boilar, pass dipped at center by Keplinger and Baker with a baseball style whack to his own blue line. Grabenikov dangled around by Oliveri, who shoots and misses wide of the blocker side. Keplinger, able to get this out. Now, numbers for Carolina maybe here shorthanded. Keplinger shoots and a stick save by Forze and a lucky break as it goes out of play. Lucky break is in an offensive zone faceoff for Carolina here. Two minutes and 11 seconds into our final period of regulation. Binghamton wins the draw on their defensive end with half a minute to go on this power play. Lewis, far side corner. Back of the goal, this is Thompson, out top for Powell. Faked the shot, one-timer opposite side, save made with the pad by Babick, and kicked out nicely. Here's Martin, out short-handed in the final four minute, four seconds of this power play. Carolina has killed it off. Thompson, shouldered by Firth, gets past him, Salak. Trying to work this loose, first slamming in there. Powell through traffic, dipped wide of the goal by Thompson. Baker, fanned on that. Martin, trying to work it out for Baker. Who's getting hacked and whacked from behind and finally backhanded up and out. Won't go far enough for icing. 16.40 to go here in the third. Boilar, killing time back of his own goal, trying to break this out. Here comes the Quebecian through center right. Hits the red line and dumps it into the cross side. Firth, nice play to work that around a four checky Black Bear now shoots it down, but not on goal. This will be an icy call on Carolina, 16-20 remaining.
Trickling in on goal there and a save made by Babbitt. That was 16.06 to go. And a whistle. 16.04 remaining. Sixteen oh four remaining as Rowe and Schultz have a conversation. One timer by Schultz, that one blocked by Keplinger, and that one stung him. Loose in the near side corner. Susie works it up the wall. Keplinger backhands it out. Grabenikoff in a foot race for it. Forze will carefully play it away from him. And now this stretch pass is picked off by Bioni. 15.35 to go in regulation. Keplinger, that one poked free off the stanchion in front of the Carolina bench. Susie out of the zone. Binghamton changing on the fly. Powell will settle the puck down. Drops it for Yates. Yates dangles around Keplinger. There's that edge work again. Yates poked free by Grabenikoff. Banked off the wall. Keplinger had a shot at that. Powell tried to center one. Picked off by Carolina. And now numbers the other way. Stretched across for Rowe. Rowe centers for Keplinger. Touches back for Rowe. Below the goal line, Lucas Rowe. Gates back out top with it. And it's poke checked free by Lewis. Dropped back by Martin for Rowe. He'll skate into the zone. Rowe into the high slot. Shoots. Forge made the stop. Juicy rebound in front. Held in by Grabenikoff. Tipped wide of the goal. Up and out. Martin away from Thompson. D to D for Grabenikoff. Head for Schnapp. He'll work his way in. Feed it over for Rowe. Slam on the brakes. Buck is stuck in Thompson, who hit the deck. And now it's whacked out. Carolina's got a touch back up. Martin nicely moves around a defender. Martin slams on the break. Down below the goal line, hitting the far side corner. Tied up with the official in the way there as well. Back of the goal, it comes for Rowe. Rowe watched by Boilar. Takes a bump. No call. Butita shoots now far side. That one stopped. And now a penalty coming up, and it's on Carolina. All right, so let me get this straight. Rowe makes a similar play of uh, maybe some embellishment on the knockdown. Looks similar to a penalty that may or may not have been called earlier in the game. Rowe complains about it, and he gets thrown in the box. 13.53 to go. And we have a Binghamton power play when we come back. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Rowe has received a two-minute minor for abuse of officials. Well, I 
can't say he didn't have an argument. Cleared down the ice by Carolina. Yarwood, back of his own goal. Gates skates through the neutral zone. Gates down the wall, stops up out top, banks it around the wall, around the kick plate. It comes to Oliveri. Oliveri stick lifted by Peavy. Out top, Yarwood, back for Oliveri. Down the far side, that one knocked away in front. Hack and whack time, and now finally cleared out by Carolina. Perth was able to get that puck out. Yarwood. Here comes Yates. Leaves it for Schultz. Is barely onside. Schultz whacked. Not trying to work it loose. Yates. Cross ice looking for Oliveri. Oliveri shouldered off by Firth. Yarwood. Cross ice Schultz. Schultz. Yarwood. Steps up. Oliveri. Left dot. First minute killed. Yarwood. One timer. Blocked by Schnapp. And now Firth will clear it out. 40 seconds left on this power play. Carolina will change penalty killers on the fly. Keplinger almost poked that one free. It's Yates, or I should say Lewis with it now. Lewis back of the goal. He comes with it. Out top, Yarwood. Leaves it for Yates. Cross ice, Oliveri. Oliveri through traffic. Going goal. Babic made the save. Rebound, and Babic covered it. And Gravenikov got whacked over top as he was face down by Thompson, and he let Thompson hear about it after the fact. Twenty-four seconds left on this Binghamton power play. Twelve seventeen to go here in the third. Baker wins the draw. Martin gets control and gets it out. 20 seconds left. Forge leaves it. Keplinger darn near picked that one off. And now he takes a shoulder from Lewis and another from Powell. But he killed a fair amount of time back there while he was at it. Boylar drops it back in the final five seconds of this power play. Thompson. Banding on that pass was a black bear. And now up out of the box it comes. Lucas Rowe will beat Icing out of the box. Almost stole that one away from Forze. Around the wall it comes. Funky bounce off the skate of a Black Bear. Lopez is just barely able to get it out to Everett Thompson. Sick lifted from behind by Salak. Thompson gets it into the cross side. Ravenikov will hop to this. Take a hip check from Thompson. On the back end of Martin. Dash A's his way around a defender. Now a one-timer from the point by Boylar is stuffed by Babic. And Rabinikov has had enough of the net front shenanigans. Victor protecting his goaltender. And now the Carolina penalty box door is opened. Oh, you gotta be joking. Rose going back in the box. I, I don't know what to say anymore. I just don't. Another Binghamton power play. The faceoff's in the neutral zone, so explain me that one. Carolina wins the draw. Perth. 
Can't get it out. Tipped out by Bioni, though. Rowe received two for roughing in that scrum. Minute 45 left now on this power play. Yates. Down below the goal line. Around. Out top, Yarwood. Cross ice, Oliveri. Touch pass in the slot. Yates. Shoots. Short side. Save made by Babic. Schultz. For Yates. Yates. Out top. Drops it back. Schultz. For Yarwood. Fakes a pass. Schultz. Oliveri. One timer. Babic got over and made the pad stop. And now Schnappet is stick lifted from behind, trying to get this out, and he is able to whack it. Now Schnapp and Oliveri are tied up in front of the Carolina bench. Schnapp just had his glove thrown off, and now a whistle. And there's the call on Oliveri. Well, at least we have some consistency now. Schnapp is encouraging the crowd with the chirps. So two for a slash, I presume, on Oliveri. So we go four on four now. Two minutes for interference is the call on Oliveri. Lewis centers one in front. Lopez, just save made by Babic with the shoulder. Ford. For Susie, drops it back for again for Gus Ford. Ford ahead for Dawson Baker. Baker trying to toe drag and shoots and is blocked by Schultz. He gives him a shove. Ford trying to work this loose. Lopez over for Schultz with under 10 minutes to go here in regulation. Powell back for Schultz. Around comes Schultz. Centering pass, chop wide. Oh, great opportunity there for Binghamton. But nothing came of it. Now a two-on-one developing the other way. Ford and Keplier. Gus Ford shoots. And Forze made the glove save. 9.29 to go here in our second or third period. Our final period of regulation. And it's time to take a timeout and a breath. Thunderbird still clinging to a 4-3 lead, being outshot 38-31, and in seven seconds, they'll have power play time after we take a 30-second timeout. We're back after this. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Back here inside. Visions Veterans Memorial in the arena. And breaking NHL news update for you. We'll squeeze in here. Timo Meyer of the top trade deadline target of most teams has been dealt to the nearby New Jersey Devils. Carolina Hurricanes were in on him at one point, but New Jersey gets the prize of the NHL deadline, which is Tuesday. Yarwood pinned up behind the goal by Butita. Now shot down, far down the ice. Thompson apparently won the race of that, and he's pounded by Firth back of the goal. What a good hit by Tucker. 45 seconds now of power play time for Carolina as Rowe has been released from his sentence. Pastuka stops up out top, will backhand it down below the wall. The lock will try and get position on this. Whacked out top, Firth can't kick it to keep it alive. Babic's out of his goal to play it. They'll settle it down for Firth. Final 30 seconds of this Carolina power play. Stretch passes, 
Ever to be gained by Salak. Salak. Dick Candley. And drop it back out top for Rowe. He will. Rowe cross ice. Firth. Firth. Back for Rowe. Rowe. Shoots through traffic. Save made. Rebound. Hacky and Wacky in front. And it comes free out to the near side. Far side. Butita for Pastuka. Out top for Firth. Firth. Trying to shoot one through traffic. That one hit a body. And now it's shot up and out on goal. And Babic will cover that with the glove. 8.19 to go here in this one. Face off one by Binghamton as Firth and Lewis collide. Down below the goal line, Kirkby. The wall that comes, Putsita. Now for Rowe. Rowe, far side. Trying to dangle around Lewis and lost the handle. Look out here. Lewis. Shot it just wide. Rebound comes free to Lewis. And Kirkby shot it wide right in front of the net. Around the wall, this comes once again. Firth chasing after it. Labeled by Powell. And now Martin will bank this off the glass for Ford, who will backhand it, not out. Thompson holds it in. Shoots it wide on the blocker side of Babic. Martin in a battle. Rowe enters as well. Curling match on the far side. Now it's brought out by Salak. Trying to kick that to his stick was Ford. Now Martin will pick this off and flip it in for the red line. Dangerously, it bounces in on goal, and Forge had to be ready for that one. Ford picks it off. Pringle, oh, what a save by Forge. Circle that one. Not for Ford. Martin touches over Grabenikov through traffic. Ooh, just wide. Pringle trying to work it loose. Boilar, seven minutes to go on regulation. Ford able to hold it in. Pringle hops on it. Pringle shoots. Blocker save. Forze. Snap on it. Grabenikov can't hold it in. And now a whistle. Stick 53 to go. I believe that puck was played with a high stick. Neutral zone draw coming here with 6.53 to go in regulation. Tied up. Utita is able to shovel it into the zone, not before Newberg. And get it out. Kicked by Grabenikov into the offensive zone. Taken and neutralized by Yarwood. Moved ahead and now picked off by Dawson Baker. Carolina might have numbers here again. Baker dumps it into the cross side. Martin will chase after it. Putita along the wall. Held in by Grabenikov. It will fire one. And looking for a tip in front from Baker. Who couldn't quite get a piece of it. 6.20 left. Boilar over for... Newberg, he can't get it out. Here's Grabenikov. Gates and shoots in. One stop. Grabenikov working hard down low. Chasing now after Yarwood. Dick lifted him from behind. Now Grabenikov will double back. Binghamton will change here while they have an opportunity to do so with six minutes left in regulation. Brought ahead now by Oliveri. Touch pass looking for Oliveri. He's tied up. Keplinger trying to stretch one ahead for Putsita. Picked off by Kirkby. And Kirkby didn't wait long enough for his guy to touch back up. That's offside. Five forty-six remaining here in regulation. Buckle up. Face off one by Binghamton, shot into the zone. Babic will blocker it up high. PV for Salak.
Lewis tied up. Salak, that did not come out of the zone. Looked like it might have. And now Salak able to maneuver it forward. And a penalty upcoming. It's going to go on Carolina with 5.23 left. Penalties on Susi. Let's see. Hey, that one was pretty clear. Took him a while to call it, but that was a pretty clear slash on Susi. And now Binghamton will take their time out. We'll keep it here as Binghamton has had a large number of power play opportunities here in this third period. And they're about to add to it. Carolina is still holding on to this 4-3 lead. 39-35 of the shots. Tied up off the draw, moved ahead now by Schnapp, shorthanded. Here comes Schnapp, working his way in, shoots! Ooh, missed just high to the glove side. Schnapp hops on it again. Cleared all the way back down to the other end of the ice by Schnapp. Firth handles it behind the net. Firth will launch it ahead all the way down around the wall. Borze touches it for Oliveri. Under five minutes to go. PV pinching, deflecting that pass. Making life difficult, picks it off. Centers it now. Schnapp trying to get after this. Schnapp will backhand it back. Firth back at his own end. Will shoot it down the length of the ice. Kicks off the end boards to Kirkby. First 45 seconds killed of the slashing call to Susie. Played ahead now by Binghamton. Good hit there on the far side by Firth. And now whacked out by Peavy with the first minute gone. Fresh group of penalty killers on the ice for Carolina. Keplinger, Baker, Martin, and Grabenikoff. Yarwood through center, drops it back. It's picked off by Keplinger, who tries to dangle around Boilar, who picks this off. 45 seconds left. And offside is the call with 43 seconds remaining on the Binghamton power play. 4.05 to go in regulation time. Buckle up, we got one heck of a finish coming. Down the stretch, and the series finale from Binghamton when we come back in 30 seconds. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, Brett Wiseman alongside you. 43 seconds left of a Binghamton power play with 4.05 to go in regulation. Shots, 39-35, still in favor of Binghamton. (laughs) 
Carolina's got control, 4-0-1 to go. Now take it back by Powell, ahead for Schultz. Down the wall, poked free by Martin. Powell, cross ice Yarwood, down low, Yates. Crouching is Kravenikov, Yates looking for somewhere to go with his puck. Out top, Yarwood fakes the shot. Oliveri, nope, that Powell. Cross ice it comes, Yates. Back out top for Yarwood, through traffic, that hit a body. Martin, trying to work this loose. Danny Martin, had it chipped up the wall, Schultz on a round. Martin shoves a man down and clears it out. Icing waved off, 3-10 left. Krabenikov, trying to work it free, ahead for Rowe. Rowe works it into the zone. Rowe trying to dangle around Yarwood, that's poked free, three minutes left. Salak holds it in though. Salak protecting the puck, trying to go between the legs. And it, oh, Salak's able to work it free. Here's Rowe, can't settle it down. He's back on it. He'll swing it back out top. Peavy rifles it on goal, save made. Rowe, out top, Peavy. Through traffic, looking for a tip from Salak, wide off the inboard. 2.35 to go. Thompson stretched ahead for Parker. Parker in deep. Shouldered by Peavy. Buck still free back of the goal. Berth and D'Angelo are tied up. Comes free to Parker, skates around. Out top, Everett Thompson through traffic. D'Angelo tried to stuff that one in, and Babic stuffed the pad out. And collapsed the glove on it. And now shenanigans. Back of the goal row is involved with, oh no, that takedown of a Thunderbird. We'll see what comes of all of this. Both penalty box doors have opened. As Parker is still barking at French now. Firth is the one that was ripped down violently by D'Angelo. While well, we sort this out, with 2.15 to go. John Butsita. Receiving an explanation from our officiating crew. There's a black bear in the box that not surprisingly is D'Angelo for the WWE style takedown. No conversations going on between both benches. And now Rowe is headed to the box. He's going to make his case, but I don't think the officials and he are too kind or keen with one another at the moment.
So we'll go four on four with 2.15 left. Which means we'll have 15 seconds of both teams being at even strength. Four to three is our score. Shots are 40 to 36 in favor of Binghamton. Baker wins the draw a little too cleanly. Back for Susie. Banks it off the wall for Firth. Firth will leave it for Baker around the kick plate. Move to his left for Susie. Susie will now kick it back for Baker. Baker, stretch pass looking for Salak. Picked off. Susie poke checks this free. Salak protecting the puck. He'll drop it back for Baker. Baker will try and set up here in the four on four. Leave it for Firth. He'll go around the wall for Salak. He'll hop on this. Salak protecting the puck. The muscle it free at the red line. Drop it back for Firth. Stretch pass looking for Ford. Picked off. And Salak now pivots. Moves ahead. Over for Ford. Ford. Shoots, missed just wide. Schultz moves it ahead, Gravenikov muscles this back out in the neutral ice. Lopez leaves it for Oliveri, back for Lopez. Poked by Gravenikov. Keplinger ahead for Gravenikov. He'll double back for it and dump it in. 70 seconds left in regulation. Yarwood for Yates. Yates. Down the far side, watch out here. They have pulled Forze. So five on four now with the four on four. Extra attacker. Through traffic, it comes on. Babic is able to make that stop. 45 seconds left. Poked away in front, Gravenikov will send it out into neutral ice. Powell is on it, fans on the stretch pass attempt. He'll move it ahead. Powell into the high slot, drops back out top, shoots, that one blocked in front. Keplinger going for the empty net, just wide. And that will be an icing call with 22.2 remaining here in regulation. Hold your breath, bite your nails, whatever you gotta do. Another barn burner here in Binghamton. It's been three spectacular hockey games. Seven seconds are left on the four on four. Tied up in the corner, centered and cleared out towards the empty net just wide. And the touch will come now with 11 seconds remaining. 11.2 to be exact. Another offensive zone draw coming here for Binghamton. Baker wins it back. Oliveri's pass almost picked off. Now corralled by Grabenikov. He'll go for the empty net. Missed just wide, but that will do it. Break out the brooms. The Thunderbirds sweep the Binghamton Black Bears. Four to three, our final this Sunday afternoon. That's a bunch of happy Thunderbirds at the other end of the ice. Able to outlast. A hard charging Black Bears group and a full penalty sheet to take home a sweep of one of the league's best teams. You want to talk about a statement as we head down the stretch in this season, you got one. Carolina victorious over Binghamton 4 to 3. That's a Thunderbird winner. And we'll break it all down on our post-game show right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey.
Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. And it's a happy one as the Thunderbirds victorious 4-3 this afternoon over the Binghamton Black Bears, breaking out the brooms and sweeping. A team that came in knotted up in Car with Carolina in points and win percentage and leaving with 86 standings points to Binghamton 79 before the two teams meet inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex in two week time. We'll tell you what's to come next weekend when the Thunderbirds head to Motor City to face the Rockers as we wrap up our post game show. 4-3, to three, that's a Thunderbird winner and we'll wrap it all up right after this. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. One final time inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Thunderbirds victorious once again this afternoon, breaking out the brooms on the Binghamton Black Bears. Four to three is our final this afternoon into the evening. Thunderbirds will pack it up, head back to Winston-Salem. We'll have our coaches show for you as we do every week on Tuesday night with head coach Garrett Rutledge and a player guest. Hope to see you there. And then the Thunderbirds will head back on the road Two more road games next weekend before they're back home against these same Binghamton Black Bears on March 10th and the 11th. They'll head on the road to face the Motor City Rockers the second trip of the year to Big Boy Arena in Fraser, Michigan. And the fourth place Rockers await a hard charging and red hot Carolina Thunderbirds group. They're carry with them a sweep of one of the league's four best teams and a seven-point advantage over those guys. 
as we head back to Winston-Salem. 4-3, our final tonight. Thunderbirds victorious. They'll head home with brooms in hand as they broke them out against the Binghamton Black Bears. Sweep complete. Thunderbirds win it 4-3. And we'll see you Tuesday night for our coaches show. So long, everybody.